Hey Minecrafters, today we're going to do a really quick tutorial on how to make spheres and circles. The first thing you're going to want to learn how to do is make a circle. And just, it's a great guideline to teach you how to start making circles so you can get into spheres. Not that it's that complicated. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up this image. It's a PNG file. I'll put the link in the description. I'd love to know who to give a shout out to for this because it's a really good little guide for making circles. As you can see, it's a grid and basically just the one by one grid of what you would put in blocks in terms of what you would put in for the circle. So if we zoom in by hitting control and then we scroll with the mouse wheel, we can actually see a little bit closer and we can see the diameter of this circle here. Um, basically it's a one by one block so you would put one block here one block there and sure enough you have a circle the only thing I wouldn't put is these center blocks here and uh, that's for obvious reasons it's just to show you the size if you guys want to make a cylinder you would just put the same pattern over and over again one on top of the other now a lot of people might think like okay well if I want to make a sphere I would just follow the circle guide from you know a little a little circle all the way to a big circle and back down to a little circle well that's almost right but it's going to look a little awkward thankfully we had a great post from Kuchin I'd like to give him a shout out and this is a great program that he built basically it allowed him to make spheres and uh, it had an output image and it just works really great so I'm going to put a link in the description for this as well you're also going to need some photo editing software. You can use GIMP. This is free as well, and I'll put that in the link description as well. So, well, well, well. All right, so the first thing, we're going to look at the post, and we're going to decide, at scroll down to the blueprints, we're going to decide what uh, diameter that we want to choose. I'm going to choose something small for this tutorial, just so we have you know something quick to learn with. So I'm going to choose 10, 10 diameter. And when you click it, you get this little image, and you're like, what is this? I, I can't read this. Well, here's what you need to do. You need to copy the image, right-clicking, right hit Copy Image, and then open your photo editing software and paste it in there. Bam, here you go. And this is exactly it right here. Now, if you don't have your grid up for GIMP or any other program that you're using, but this is more, more specifically to GIMP, and you want to get it, just go to View, Show Grid, and then Images, configure grid okay when you have to configure your grid you want it to be a one by one because blocks are one by one so you would hit one one and then hit okay and then you get this nice little grid now you're gonna want to zoom in same method hit control and mouse wheel in and now we have a really nice one by one grid of how to make a sphere this is your first layer on the left in the purple and then in the tan color here the light tan color is your second layer third layer fourth layer fifth layer all the way until you get to the top which is mimicking very much to the bottom exactly to the bottom so we're gonna go take a look in game real quick and see how this looks in game when we're building layer by layer alright so now we're in game and this is the beginning of the sphere this is a 4x4 four, four, four across four down and and then blocks in between and this is just the first layer so then we're gonna build the second layer right on top of the first layer bam here you go already built for you so as you can see, here's our first layer again, the 4x4 four four in between. And then we have our second layer directly on top of that. Now, you're going to have this little you know, gap where you're not building on top of the, the first sphere. So you're going to have to you know, put a block down and then build it appropriately. Then, when you keep going, and you keep going layer by layer, eventually you get this. And this is our 10 diameter sphere. Um, it's as perfect as it can be for Minecraft because you know Minecraft is still using one by one spheres. If you want to see more detail in your spheres and make them look you know prettier, you're gonna to have to build a bigger sphere. So we're gonna go take a look at some of the other spheres that I've built, just as uh, an example to show you how much better they look the bigger you get. And here is a sphere that's actually underground. Um, unfortunately, what kind of sucks about being in a sphere that's underground is you have to dig out all the dirt and sand and stone that's in between your sphere. These can be a lot more complicated to build just because they're just a headache. Um, when you actually get in there and try it out, you'll actually recognize why it's such a, a pain. And then once you finish the sphere, you still have to clear out all the dirt and stuff in between. And then on top I have a glass uh, top I guess for the sphere and we're gonna go take a look at something else real quick just to show you an example of the sphere This is a dining hall that I'm using right now for one of my levels in a building and I built just a, like a sphere cap on the top All I did is I, I took a you know a larger sphere and then I found out where the 12 diameter is because this is a 12 by 12 room 
and then I just built the sphere directly on top of it and filling in the gaps here like this this gap here with cobblestone and it, it just gives it a really nice look now this is my first level that I built um, you know I'm not I really kind of abandoned it since then but I put a sphere on top to make sort of a watchtower if you will just another example of what you can use spheres for and for my grand finale on the sphere tour is a floating sphere next to a triangle and a square no I'm just kidding this is actually the grand finale this is a 64 uh, diameter sphere made of complete glass it took me a long time to build it's built on my multiplayer server and it's just kinda like a world of glass with an elephant shooting water into a teacup and a tree haven't really figured out what I was gonna put in there but as you can see the sphere is a lot more detailed it looks a lot better when it's a lot bigger so lot 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 just keep going these spheres take a long time to build especially when they're made out of glass and you gotta forge all that that glass but with a lot of perseverance you can make something really really cool using spheres so get out there and do it